Now, uh, where are we? We're, we're looking at this, uh, we're looking for the equation of the common tangent here. Um, what do we know? We know that 4, 7 is the point where these circles touch. Um, let's see here now. Paste, right, oh no. Anyway, I'm going to sketch it out here, look. This is what we know already. We know that these circles touch internally like this, right? And they touch here at 4, 7. We know that the center of the big one is 1, 1. So we're looking for the equation of the common tangent, which is going to be a straight line that just touches the both circles at 4, 7. So we know that 4, 7 uh, is on... We know that 4, 7 is on the line of the common tangent. The common tangent is just a line, and this at right angles to this radius here between 1, 1 and 4, 7. So if we get the slope m1, say, of the point between the points 1, 1 and 4, 7, so we can call that there x1, uh, y1, and this, two, this one here x2, y2, and the slope m is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 1 minus y1 is 7 over x2 is 1 as well minus 4. So 1 uh, minus 7 is minus 6 over minus 3 and that gives us 2. So m1 equals 2. And the slope of the tangent is going to be at right angles to this. So the condition for right angles is that uh, m1 times m2 must equal minus 1. And 2 multiplied by minus a half will, will make us minus 1. So m2, the slope of the tangent is, is minus a half, right? So you could write it as m sub t. So, so, so that's the slope of the tangent is minus one half and we know that four seven is on the tangent so we can use this thing here y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 we fill that in so uh, we have everything we need because uh, it's just going to be y minus seven equals minus a half times x minus x1 or Oh, sorry, 4. Yeah, x1 is going to be 4 there in this case. So, let's tidy that up a bit. So, you have 2y minus 14 multiplying across by 2. Gives us minus 1 outside of x minus 4. And that's going to be 2y minus 14 equals minus x plus 4. And uh, after that then, it's whatever way you want. Like, you can have... 2y plus x, bring over the minus 4 then, and that gives us minus 18 equals 0. And uh, we can check that then. Um, I have these guys drawn out from earlier. And we can stick in our answer there. What do we get? 2x, 2y plus x, 2y plus x minus 18. Can we remember that? 2y plus x minus 18. 2y plus x plus x minus 18 equals 0 and there you go that's the common tangent there and that's it job done